Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Straight to the Boston here, aka the King of Boston. Today we're back for episode number one, finally, the start of my Philadelphia Phillies franchise here on MLB 15 the show. I just got my PS4 back from today, the eight or from Sony today. The HDMI port is all fixed, and we are ready to go back playing some MLB 15, and I'm starting on my Philadelphia Phillies franchise, something that I had planned for a while now. Taking over Maybe the team in the worst shape in all of baseball, a team really in need of a complete organizational overhaul. They sort of started that with uh, hiring Andy McPhail recently uh, to be, I believe, president of baseball operations and then uh, likely, or maybe team president or something, and then likely he's uh, going to fire Amaro, Ruben Amaro Jr. at some point, uh, you know, probably after the season, but... Anyway, uh, you can take a look at our roster here and sort of the roster moves we made. So I used the OSFM uh, weekly update number 5, which was updated as of yesterday, June 29th. So uh, these are pretty up-to-date uh, OSFM rosters. And you can see I'm just going through um, making some changes to the roster, sending some guys down, putting some guys back up. This is a good screen to give you guys sort of a good look at what we have to work with here. Uh, as I said, this is maybe a team that's in the worst shape in all of baseball. Got some long-term contracts like Ryan Howard and Cliff Lee. Um, although I guess Cliff Lee actually expires at the end of next year anyway. But you got the Ryan, Hard the Ryan Howard situation. Uh, not a lot of talent on this roster. Um, I'll give I'll, I'll show you guys a good look at a take. You guys can take a good look at our three best prospects later on in this episode. So I will sort of show them off. But as you can see, we're putting Darren Ruff on the big league team. Uh, I think over Andres Blanco, and then we eventually I eventually sent down Udubel Herrera. Um, in favor of Brian Bogusevic just to save some service time on Herrera. But here's a look at our three best prospects. We saw J.P. Crawford there in AA, Aaron Nola in AAA, and Michael Franco is also going to flash up here on the Major League level. So our three best prospects are at three different levels, and we're going to have to find a way to sort of build our team around those three guys uh, in hopes that they all sort of pan out and uh, become franchise cornerstones like we hope they can be. But anyway, take a look at the sponsorships here. So uh, if you this is new to MLB 15, the show's franchise, you get these sponsorships, which gets you, uh, I believe, these little, I, I think they just get stubs or whatever for uh, certain things you do in a game. But, uh, yeah, I think we end up going with, like, the 35000 per save, uh, maybe 1500 or 2500 per strikeout, and I think the 1500 per game one. But, uh, yeah, so, anyway, I'm pretty excited to take over this team. Uh, obviously, I haven't done an MLB franchise since MLB 14, so I'm pretty darn excited, and... Uh, this should be a pretty long series. I'm going to post this every other day. Uh, that is the plan for now. So the next episode you'll see will be Thursday. That will be... Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to play opening day yet against the Red Sox or if I'll skip ahead uh, maybe like a week or two or so. If you guys usually know how I do these series, I usually play one to two games a month. It's usually about ten episodes a season. But anyway, we're playing... Uh, or we're actually making some moves here. We're going to sign Jose Miguel Fernandez and... Guillermo Heredia uh, to, I believe, well, I know Fernandez is an international free agent. I'm not so sure about Heredia or Heredia. Um, but yeah, we're signing him either way because he was a 24 year old B potential prospect, 70 something overall. So could come in and actually play some outfield this year. And we might see Miguel Fernandez at some point uh, this season as well. But take a look at the rotation we're dealing with. So I also want to ask you guys should I use Cliff Lee? Uh, right now he's in single A. That's where he is uh, on the uh, like by default on these rosters. As um, he, I believe, uh, I I don't remember the exact. I don't remember if he had Tommy John or not, but I know he hurt his elbow. And uh, I want to ask you guys: Should I use Cliff Lee for the first half of the year and then look to trade him, or should I keep it realistic and keep him out for likely the entire year, just pay his contract and uh, you know keep him in single A? So what do you guys want me to do with Cliff Lee? Let me know. But all right. That is going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys are excited. Like I said, first gameplay episode's coming out on Thursday. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'm out. Also, I have a new MLB 15 The Show series starting up tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that.